More into the G-Flow Nets, part one, trajectories and flows. It all starts with a graph, a collection of nodes and edges. In particular, a directed acyclic graph, or DEG. Directed in that each edge has an orientation, and acyclic in that no path leads to the same node twice. Nodes in G-Flow Nets are called states, and edges are called transitions. Any sequence of states and transitions is known as a trajectory. States that distinguish G-Flow Nets from DEGs in general are the initial state and the final state. The fundamental elements of G-Flow Nets are complete trajectories, trajectories that begin in the initial state and end in the final state. Given a set of complete trajectories T, and a set of subsets of complete trajectories, Ft, a flow, F, is a measure corresponding to the measure space T, Ft, and F. That is, a flow is a function from a set of complete trajectories to the non-negative real numbers, such that the flow of the empty set is zero. And for all countable collections of pairwise disjoint sets of complete trajectories, the flow of the union of those sets is equal to the sum of the flows of each individual set. Join us next time when we explore key flows of G-flow nets, maybe we'll call it flow algebra.